Hey guys, Levi for the Rag Company, and in today's video, I'm removing PPF off of uh, Gabe's Forerunner. Now, I don't like removing PPF. I think it's quite possibly one of the worst jobs ever in detailing. And I think this, next to some other jobs I've had, probably registers in my top five worst PPF jobs to remove. But I've got a friend. I've got Coach Kimmy's Ulex to help me remove all the glue that is gonna be left behind from this. I also have a heat gun, and I also have one of the best friends a person could have. I got Juan Gonzalez with me, and he's gonna help me remove the front part. But for this video, we're just gonna focus on removing the PPF on this mirror, and then Juan and I'll tag team and get the front done. All right, so first step, you can clean the PPF if you like. In this instance, we're not gonna wash it. Why? Because we're gonna tear all this off, we're gonna hit it with a solvent, then we'll actually give the car an actual bath later on, and I'll let Gabe do that. Don't need to do it myself. But we're gonna take our heat gun, and we're just gonna heat the mirror. A good way to test is to uh, hit your own skin first. That way you also know how much heat you're putting on the surface. We wanna make it nice and even. As we warm this up, it becomes more pliable, but it's literally going around trying to peel this off. Now, in many instances, if a PPF is still safe to remove, you can pull it against itself. So for instance, if we're pulling this PPF off, I'd be pulling this way as I yank it. I wouldn't be folding it over and pulling it across because when it does that, it has a tendency to shed more adhesive onto the surface. So to limit the amount of adhesive, you pull with the surface or towards you, and that way it actually kind of lifts off. But I have a feeling this adhesive has completely failed. And so what's happening here is even if I wanted to pull away from the surface, like I'm doing now, it's gonna be more difficult, but gonna be releasing less glue on the surface. So we just pull up, we do have a tendency to break, but if you look in here, see where there's glue here and where there's not. That's because here I pulled down, here I pulled up. And as I pulled up, it removed less glue. The hard part is that it's so brittle Now you can wear gloves for this step, but for me, it's a personal preference. I like keeping the gloves off when I'm removing film, and then I put gloves on when I'm gonna be using the chemical. So Ulex, you're just gonna pour directly onto your towel. I like to use a 245 or a 365 for this job, but in this case, we're gonna use a Creature just because it holds a little more liquid, and it's 70-30, so it's not gonna scratch but you just go around the mirror and apply the product. And the nice thing about this product is it actually stays liquid for a good period of time, allowing you a lot of workability on the surface. Sometimes tar and glue removers have a tendency to flash very quickly. When that happens, you have to keep applying, 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 and applying. But because of the chemical nature of this product, it stays very compliant. I can't tell you how nice that is to have it fully dissolve off the surface. We remove the PPF off this car. On this mirror, they didn't cover the whole mirror, so it's only on this front part, which means this part that was susceptible to all of that UV damage has UV damage now, where the spot that was under the film is still protected. So, Gabe's gonna have to take these down, get them repainted so that they actually match, look nice. I'm sure the other side did the same thing. Okay, so what's left, you're asking? Well, this whole front clip. We've got our fenders, we've got our hood, and we've got the other side of the fender there to do. Thankfully, it's not on the bumper. My guess is that this has been on this vehicle for 15 years. So we've got 15-year-old clear bra that, in all honesty, is holding up really well, but it's had some problems in which what looks like it is sagged. I can also see some fracture lines in here, which means it's gonna be very brittle and a lot harder to remove. 
What I'm thinking a lot of this is, these waves and ripples under the paint, is actually the adhesive that has kind of created a little ocean for itself underneath this clear bra, but we won't know until we get into it. I will say that the side fenders look a lot better than this hood. So I think the hood is the one that's gonna give us the most difficulty. Perfect opportunity because I've got Juan with me. We're gonna be able to knock this out a lot easier than if I was in my garage doing this on my own. So fun fact, always get a friend. see this was far more in depth of a PPF removal than I expected it to be but with the help of Coach Kimmy's Ulex came off a lot easier. We also utilized a heat gun as well as our little McCullough 1270 steamer. My final step here is going to be compounding and polishing out this hood just to make it all match but maybe we'll save that for another video. So as always guys make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe and if you want to try Coach Kimmy's Ulex for yourself you can pick it up right here on the Rag Company website. So for more videos, stay tuned right here at the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.